Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emergency Beacon, and today I want to go over how you create a route with the Garmin Phoenix 7X Sapphire Solar. Sorry, I had to say that slow. There's too many words in that. But how you create a route with the Explorer app or the Connect app, and you can do it both ways. And I had a question that was uh, brought up by one of the subscribers asking which one was better. And I'm going to go through that with you today because now, after testing it, I have an opinion. Can you believe that? Well, before we go any farther, though, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Explore app. And what you want to do here is you want to be on the map page. And then at the top left, there's a plus symbol and a layer symbol. You want to hit on plus here and it says create waypoint, create course, import GPX file. So we're going to create a course. Now there's a map here. There's a, this one hiking trail I've gone to. I haven't gone to a lot, but there's an area I haven't placed a, a, a route down yet. So I'm going to start at the beginning. I'm going to create one point. I'm going to show you screenshots of all this. Then I lay down another point and it follows the trail. And then I'm going to go to the right. I want to do counterclockwise and I'm going to lay some points down along the trail and it continues to create this trail without me hitting waypoints to describe the trail. It follows the trail. Now the only problem would be is if there wasn't a trail here, then you would have to describe it by points. And then I'm going to come back to the beginning or fairly close to the beginning lay down another point once I get to the final point then at the top right you can hit save make sure you don't delete you can delete points down here there's a if you click on any place on there it'll allow, ask you if you want to delete a point now there's another screen here and it says November 29 2022 but you can click on that and change the name so I'm going to go back here I'm going to back arrow and change the name to, oh, I don't know, Phoenix Root Test 1, because I'm going to do two tests. Now I'm going to hit OK after I've typed that in, and now my root has a name, Phoenix Root Test 1. And I can hit Go, there's points, elevations. Well, anyway, that's how quick it was to create this, this root, very fast. Now, this is what I found out when I was testing it. I'm just showing you now, but... What you're going to see is it's easier and more convenient to create a route on the Explorer app than it is the Connect app. So let's go jump over to the Connect app now and see how fast that goes. Now I'm going to warn you on this one here. It takes longer to get to the location where you can actually create the route. What you have to do is down at the bottom right hand corner there are three dots and it says more. So you click on more. The next thing you do is you click on training and planning. From there, there's another screen here. It says training plans, courses, pro race segments, etc. So you click on courses and you can, there's already one course I was testing it on and it shows up here, but then you can hit create course. Now on this one here, it says road cycling, paved cycling, running, hiking. So I'm gonna click on hiking. You can see already, the number of steps it takes to get to the point where you can even create the course. Now here it says, how do you want to create it? It says automatic, select a single starting point and we'll create your course, which is what the, basically the Explorer app did. And then there's a custom where you can create your own course. I'm going to do this two different ways. I'm going to show you both ways. First, let's do an automatic course because that's the way the Explorer app felt to me. It was automatic. I just created a few points along and it, and it created the course for me, followed the trail. All right, so the course name. I'm going to call this the Phoenix Route Test 2. So now I hit back arrow. Now it says course name Phoenix Route Test 2. The distance is three miles. I'm not sure why it says that. It, well, it says set your distance and the starting direction. But down at the bottom, I'm just it says three miles. I'm going to leave that alone. Direction is north. And then down at the bottom it says next. Let me go find a trail I haven't hiked before. On second thought, let me go back to the same place that I had just created the route with the Explorer app. If we're going to compare this, let's compare apples to apples. Okay, here's one of the problems I've found. 
on the Connect app. It does not show all the trails that the Explorer app has shown. I'm at the Lincoln Mountain Open Space Trail. It's exactly what I had just created with the Explorer app. There are no trails here. There are actually two loops on this, on this uh, Open Space Trail. Neither of them show up. See, I, I just touched a point just for the heck of it, and it basically started from the road, went to who knows where, I'm not really happy with this, so I'm going to back up out of this. Do you want to continue without saving? <sighs> See, all the frustration is already setting in because I do not like how this works. It's just not. This, I'm telling you right now, you want the Explorer app. You do not want the, the Connect app when you're trying to create a trail. Let's go back and do one by manually creating it. So we're going to create course. And we're going to go hiking again. And this time we're going to hit custom. And we've got to go find, I kind of like to give it a name. It's not letting me give it a name right now. Let's go find a trail. Okay, here's a trail that I've used in the past at another place I had lived here in Colorado, but I know there's a trail here. So it says create course. And I'm going to tag approximately where the beginning of the trail is but this doesn't actually show the beginning of the trail it shows the trail out of going to another location so it's not a complete trail system as the explorer has so i'm going to put a point down you have to select at the bottom i think the waypoint so i've i'm going to click that i hit the waypoint on it it basically it's the center of the screen so I'm going to hit next and it it's custom but it you had to move the center of the screen to where you want the waypoint it put another starting point here where I wasn't meaning for it to start at but again you're going to have to I have to I'm going to go back and redo this because it all based is based on where your the center of your screen is do not like this at all I'm sorry, but I do not like the Connect app. Now, it does give me a ch choice here to n name this. So this, I think, is my fourth test. Now, one thing it does here is it says that can be public or private. So right now, I'm going to say private. And now, it says done to save the course. And it shows the course. But this is not how I wanted the course to look. So now, I'm going to create another one. It's going to be the fifth test, hopefully the last test. I'm going to create course. I'm going to pick hiking again. Again, I'm going to come back to custom. I have to interrupt here. Do you see how much faster the Explorer app was? All right, just saying. Okay, I've come back to the same course, but this time I'm gonna center my screen where I think I want it to start. So the first thing is when you hit the waypoint, it shows up, then you, you, then you have to put your starting point where you want it to be. So I moved it to that, to that location, and it says next at the bottom. So I'm gonna hit next, and then it says create course. So now I'm going to move my the middle of my screen to approximately here where I want it to end. I'm going to hit the waypoint icon again. A little dot shows up. Again, I can move my screen around so it's right where I believe I want it to be. Okay, so I think I have the end of the trail where it's supposed to be. I'm going to hit next. And now it shows the trail. So it did describe it pretty much like I wanted it to. Now it says, uh, it says save, I'm gonna hit save. And again, I'm gonna back and I'm gonna create the name of the trail or the route. So this one's gonna be Phoenix Route Test 5. It's easy enough to type this information in. I'm gonna keep this one private, done. It gives me a check mark and shows me the whole trail. And then I can follow it if I want. All right, that's how easy it is, right? I didn't think it would be actually that hard because I've tested it a little bit before. I knew it was going to be harder. I knew the answer to this when I started. Absolutely, hands down, the Explorer app is the best way to create a route when you're using the Phoenix, any watch, any, any Explorer watch that can it has maps and can, it has, can create a route and you can follow that route on your map. You want to use Explorer if you, if you can. The Connect app takes longer to get to the point where you can create it and it doesn't show as many trails and it doesn't give you as many options when you're creating that trail. On the Explorer app, you can hit waypoints along the trail and it just follows it and, and it, it's so simple. The Connect app, 
if that's all you got, okay, fine. You'll, you'll make it. You'll, you'll be happy, I, I suppose. But if you can use that Explorer app, oh man, forget the Connect app as far as creating a route. I hope that's helped you. I've learned a lot through this as I've been testing it. And if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below because I always respond real quick. And if you've got anything that you think I should try or that I'm doing wrong or something, by all means, leave a comment because it's a very interactive channel and I'll get back with you within a day, usually way faster than that. And I would just love to learn more myself and help everybody else out here as you're learning along with me and researching. So thanks for joining me here on Hiking Emergency Beacon and I'll see you back here on the next video.